Now at 7 a.m. on Today in L.A. Weekend, as reaction pours in on the death of Hezbollah's leader and founder killed in an Israeli airstrike, we're learning more about the bomb used in that deadly attack, plus what his death means for the rest of the world moving forward. And a confrontation turns deadly in Beverly Hills. What a witness has happened moments before the fatal stabbing. And happy Sunday morning, everyone. It's a lot foggier this morning for certain spots with visibility impacts. I'll talk about this and what to expect for the start of your week coming up in your first alert weather forecast. You're watching NBC4. Here's what's happening today in L.A. And good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. Look at this picture of the city line. September 29th, a live look over downtown L.A. We are waking up to some fog. And thank you for waking up with us. I'm Michelle Vias. Let's go ahead and send it on over to meteorologist Shauna Mendiola. Quite a sight outside. Yeah. Saw some fog on my way to work, but you know, is it going to stick around? Oh, uh, it looks like it's going to stick around for a little bit. Not too long, though, because today is going to be just like yesterday with the sunshine. Oh, nice. But the fog is especially thick in some areas. Me, too. I drove in and it was foggy the whole way through. I, I love <laughs> when we get the best of both worlds. Yeah. You know? In San Francisco, it's pretty typical to see this type mm -hmm. of fog. But for us, it's usually in uh, May, May gray, we call yeah. it, June gloom. And it's back for September. And it's only the end of September. Hard to believe, almost October. Me and Michelle's favorite month of the year. All right, looking at that visibility, want to show you that we do have some low numbers. So whenever you see a low number on these maps, it indicates that uh, the fog is especially thick. So in the L.A. Basin in Orange County, we're seeing very, very thick fog that is coming in from the ocean and again, making it very difficult to see through. So if you're driving out this morning, you got to give yourself extra time in Orange County and in L.A. Inland Empire and up to the deserts, we're doing OK. So uh, that's where you're good to go. We are starting to see that fog start to peel back from those mountain ranges. So we will see the sun in the valleys and Inland Empire first. And what that means, your high is going to go up to the 90s today. Still pretty similar to yesterday where the afternoon got pretty warm, but in the morning we're enjoying some of these cool starts. So we get some relief from the warmth. LA Basin about 81 today. We've got 69 for the beaches and for the high desert, about 95 and hot where the sun is already shining for you. We are going to be heating up this week, so stay tuned. I've got a look at that for you to help you plan the week ahead. It's going to be a warm one. Michelle, back to you. Shauna, thank you. Police are piecing together how a, stead a deadly stabbing unfolded in Beverly Hills. This is the scene as officers arrested a man near the intersection of Spalding Drive and Charleville Boulevard yesterday afternoon. We blurred his face where he had a large gash. A witness told NBC4 he believed one man was having a, psychi a psychotic break there when he attacked another man with a baby in his arms. The witness says he pulled over and he and his son jumped out to help stop that attack. At one point, the man reportedly had a cut on his face and turned his attention to the witness and tried grabbing his dog. I reached back, grabbed her, and then was pulling her back, but he wouldn't let go. So I was pulling her, he was pulling her, and then I started punching him because I was like, you know, yelling at him to get out of my car. Witnesses say at one point someone in the neighborhood called police and police tased him. Police say the man with the stab wound was taken to the hospital and later died. The department says the other person involved in the confrontation is cooperating with investigators. Reaction pouring in from the Middle East to Israel's assassination of Hezbollah's leader. And this morning, we've learned the bunker buster bombs used to kill Hassan Nasrallah were American made. NBC4's Amber Frias explains what this means for Lebanon and the rest of the world. Hassan Nasrallah's death is perhaps the biggest of Israel's targeted killings in years.